All right, guys, this is a, um, a quick uh, uh, explanation on the ailerons on the PCA2. I'm going to kind of fly through this, and uh, I'm only going to do a section of this because what I build is just going to get thrown away. So, uh, so I'm going to do a small section just show you how it is, and uh, I'm going to use the uh, kit parts to this. I have some spare ones, uh, so uh, we're going to do this. So uh, let me see here. First thing is I, I like to do is I like to find the, the spar, uh, which is going to be made out of spruce <laughs> here. Actually, it's just going to be balsa, but to get get the idea, I always lay that out, and then I lay out my front uh, piece of wood. And this front piece of wood, notice it's two pieces of uh, one core that's laminated, so that's all the way across here. I'll go ahead and put those two together, pin that down flat bump the ribs up against that and slide this underneath there or even pin this down and then put everything on there and uh, I'll do right angles all the way so I'll kind of build part of that and I'll be right back okay guys you can see what I did there I went I used a, like a little right angle here and go along you have to go here 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 all the way down um, and uh, yeah so you of course you start over here at the end they go all the way down so, like I said, this is really more about the ailerons, how we do that. The next thing that I do is I lay my uh, one quarter balsa up against the uh, back edge of this. And I'll go from the end here and the end here, and I'll, I'll make a mark and a mark, and I'll cut that line. So I'll just simulate it here. Uh, say, for example, this was the end. There's mark, there's a mark. I'm going to draw a line up here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut from there to there, and I'm going to glue that up against there. All right? All right, so that's on there now. That, that matches up pretty good. You want this as close as possible. Uh, you could even uh, think about sanding that down right now, uh, which I think I will do. But uh, you want that so it matches the ribs in the front of it, and uh, that way you're going to get the right angle. So that's pretty close. So if this was really going on a plane, I'd spend some more time on it. Now I'm gonna go ahead, there's a back angle here. I'm gonna zoom in here, I hope, without turning you, turn this off, sorry. And what I want you guys to see, oh, uh, <laughs> sorry, is this line back here. Now this back line, so you have this here, and this is for your, uh, this is for your back of your aileron. This is your trailing edge, right? That's going to get pinned down eventually. I'll just pin it down now. This here, this next line, is where the back of the one quarter is going to go. And notice it's at a bit of an angle. Uh, I need this to fit flat against there. So I'm going to go ahead and shave off a little bit on this. So, say for example, this is just a, a guess here. Like I said, this was really going on playing. I spent some more time to it. But I'm cutting this down so I get this edge. Okay. All right. So, let's see here. So, I've got this back edge and this is going to lay down flat. Now that's pretty good actually uh, up against there. It's going to match this line that's going to go down here. Now imagine this is going all the way down the length of the aileron. Then what I do is after I get this angle I'm going to bring a pin underneath it and score as close as possible where it's meeting this edge here. So I'll go ahead and do that. So I'm going to have to peek underneath there. All right, and there's the spot right there. Okay, I'm going to cut that, and I'll be right back. Okay, I went ahead and cut it. Uh, this I, I cut a little bit on the top of it. I don't want it, if I cut it too short, then it's uh, not going to work at all. So I line this back edge to here. So I have this one quarter. It, you can see there's another line on the plane. So what that's simulating is the top of this. So this lays on top of there, and this has to be pinned down 
very solid. It has to be down very tight. So I pin it to the bore and I pin it to that front edge. And when I pin it to the front edge, I have to go like this because I'm going to sand the top of this. I have to make sure I pin under on the side of it forward. If I pin like this, I'll never be able to sand it. So I pin it down to the board. And I go in between each one of the back ribs here. And I pin it to the front. Okay. After that's done, I can either sand it now or I can add my back ribs. I'm going to go ahead and add the back ribs. I like to do that so I know exactly where I'm going. All right. I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. I'm starting to put these ribs on. I wanted to point out one thing, and uh, I, it's, I, I'm missing some of my my back ribs here. And the reason is because this was like the first kit uh, that was uh, was the prototype kit, and uh, some of these fit, some of these didn't. And we finally did get it right. Uh, Dan Walton and uh, Dave Suris, they uh, they got together on the CAD, and, and everything's perfect in the kit now. The only thing I would say. And it'd be tough to fix this for everybody. And that is, when this lays down, if you have it lean way in or way out, you know, where this joints, this, this right here, bump it up against there. If you have a tight fit, then great. If you don't, sand it a little bit so you know that's flat up against there. Okay? So you just go ahead and on the back side, they snap in perfect. On the front side, uh, some of them are just going to hit, oh, some of them are going to just hit like this. So I can get that for you. Uh, some are going to hit like that. So, the, so a lot of them, when I was joining them, they're like this. So you just sand that edge in a little better, and then put those in, and uh, you're going to be a lot happier with that. So the uh, first PCA2 I did, which I was hand cutting them all, uh, I actually uh, discovered that. Uh, that some of them would fit perfect and some of them would, wouldn't. So, um, so anyway, so just trust me. Just double check that for me when you go up against this back edge. If they don't fit flat up against it, look at it, sand it so it does, and then push up against it. Um, all right. So now that this is all glued on there, just got it all on there. I'll give it a nice spray of accelerator. So here is the uh, part, Mike, we were talking about with the ailerons. And this is, this is a Balsa USA kit idea that uh, is a lot on the, um, uh, very popular on the, uh, the biplanes that they make. Uh, this is their technique, so I want to give them credit uh, for this. So and I'm not sure if it's their idea, but it's where I learned it. So after this is all pinned down solid, I'm going to come on top of this and I'm going to sand this down. I'm going to keep sanding this down until I get right up to the ribs. This is a long process. There's a lot of dust involved. I will be back after I'm done. Before I uh, get sanded, I do want to show you guys that, th that one of these planers work great for this. Uh, the only fear that you have is when you start getting near that rib, you don't want to keep going because this will take out ribs like crazy. So I'm just going to keep going until I can see those ribs approaching, and then I'm going to use the sander. Okay, guys. So here we go. I went ahead and uh, I would have added this earlier, by the way. I would have added this, uh, the ribs, the back side, and then, you know, I always, of course, I have this there. I didn't want to waste all that balsa. Um, and then add that on top to secure all that. But uh, you can see what it looks like now, the ailerons on this. Um, this here I would probably sand a little bit more down so it matches perfectly. You can see it's a little high there. If I match it, cut it down a little more. And sorry, I kind of rushed things here so things aren't perfectly lined up as you can tell. But that's the idea. Uh, what's cool about this is you automatically get differential. You know, you can when you go up, you're going to get more up than down. The down, and that's going to be nice for uh, uh, your coordinated turns. Uh, but you can see what I mean here. Uh, it was another nice thing about it is where people are going to see it mostly on the ground. 
this is perfect you know like you could see up there it looks like one perfect hinge line there's no big gap uh, and that's what Dave and I wanted to avoid on the bottom side yeah it's a it's a big gap but look at all that throw you can get so it's really nice uh, the next thing that uh, I do my ailerons is hinged in three spots believe it or not I use those Debro hinges so I have one uh, let's see I'm looking at my gyro right now I've got one I believe it's one right by the servo two in the middle and then three uh, one in from the very end so that's where my spots are and to do that uh, I'd really have to put a hinge in there right now so let me do that and I'll be right back